trying to get on with the day job, in this case, hosting the Israeli Prime Minister. Have all ministers observed the highest standards expected, Mrs May? But questions like that are now hanging over her government. On the right, the new Defence Secretary, Gavin Williamson. In his previous job as Chief Whip, the man in charge of disciplining MPs, he kept this pet tarantula on his desk. But that's not what's bitten his colleagues today. Conservative MP Sarah Wollaston posted on social media. There are times when offered a job that it would be better to advise that another would be more experienced and suited to the role. And that's the polite version of what a lot of Conservative MPs have been saying. But tonight he was shrugging off the criticism that he lacked experience. Well, I'd been a minister as chief whip, but uh, it was a little bit quieter uh, when he was chief whip. Not so much uh, publicity, but it's a privilege to be able to step into this role. There had been speculation a woman would get one of the top jobs after the events of the last few days. Esther McVeigh did get a promotion, but she is the deputy chief whip. Her boss is a man. I'm obviously very pleased to be a part of the government at this important time and hopefully I can bring maybe a feminine touch to the Whip's office and work with all my colleagues, something that I'm really looking forward to. Thank you. The changes have been forced by the surprise resignation last night of Sir Michael Fallon. He said he decided to go because his behaviour in the past had fallen short and what might have been acceptable 15 years ago was now unacceptable. Others today have been saying even that description misses the point. I don't understand what Michael Fallon means by what was acceptable 15 years ago. If he thinks that it was acceptable to sexually harass or abuse women 15 years ago and now it's not OK, then I disagree with him profoundly. Theresa May now says her government won't tolerate the kind of behaviour that costs Michael Fallon his job. But two of her ministers are being investigated and after yesterday's resignation, no one can be sure who will keep a seat at this cabinet table.